Okay, multiplying fractions, all you have to do is multiply. It's easy. There is no common denominator. Um, the hardest part is simplifying. So if I have 2 thirds times 1 fifth, okay? When you multiply fractions, you literally just multiply straight across. That's it? That's it. So you just multiply straight across. N multiply. Two out of fifteen. You are multiplying. That is it. Okay, what time I know, seriously. The the easiest one is this one. The hardest one is adding and subtracting. That's it. Dividing, I'll teach you tomorrow or Thursday or Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna leave a recorded video, so you'll be doing, you'll continue learning. We don't just stop. Three fourths times two sevenths. So there is no common denominator. You just multiply it, what? Straight across. Six over 28. All right, what do I simplify by? Six. No. Three, two, no, two. You can only do two. Four. Oh my God. Oh my God. That doesn't make it right. You got to start using your brain and realizing, okay, I'm going to slow it down. I'm not going to shout out anything because I do look really, really bad in front of my teacher. Six divided by two, 14. three, 28 divided by two, 14. So that's the final answer in simplest form. So the hardest part is the um, simplify. That's it. Okay. Are we okay with this? Yes. All right, let's do three on your own, two on your own. Yep. All right, let's do those two. Okay, what's your first answer for the first one? Oh, first answer, first answer. Four over 90. Four over 90, right? And then, that's why I said, like, what's your first, first answer, right? Just to make sure that we all understand, like, okay, that's the easy answer. And then when we divide by two, two, two over 45. That's the answer, like, if you have a test, this would be the answer I'm looking for, right? What's 90 divided by 2? No, I'm talking about this. Raw. Oh. All right, what's your first, first answer for the second one? 240. 240, which is then equal to? 2. 1 over 20. 1 over 20. It's easy, right? Are we okay with this? Yeah. Did you learn this last year or in fifth grade? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade was easy. All right. Well, maybe it was fifth and sixth. All right. So we're recording one more time. Uh, it is important to simplify. Now, for those of you who struggle, with simplifying, I'll show you a not so fun trick, but it is a trick. So when you're looking at these numbers and you don't know what you can simplify by, you basically, if you're using a multiplication table, 
here's what you're thinking. Where on a line, like a row, do I find four and six on? It has to, so the first number is four and six. Now, if you know how to simplify, you can totally ignore me and just get to work. If you struggle with simplifying, it's like I'm trying to find four and six on the same line, okay? On the same line like this. So I look, obviously it's gonna be on the number one, right? Four and six, yeah, but one doesn't really help me. So then I go to two, I see the four, and I also see the six, right? So they're both on the same line, so that means that I can divide by two. That's how we figure out what number we can divide by. We look at the multiplication table, if you need to. If you know your multiplication table, you don't need it. Four divided by two is two, six divided by two is three, and then you're done. Same thing with 12 and 15. I need to find 12 and 15 on the same line. Well, I find the 12 on the two, there it is, but I don't see the 15, so can I use the two? No. So I go to the three. Oh, I see the 12, and I see the 15. Oh, there it is. What also is cool about the multiplication table, Dylan, is that your answers are actually on the top. They're on the top. If you go straight up, those are your answers. So I'm gonna divide this by three, divide this by three, I get four over five. If I locate the three, the 12 turns into a four, the 15 turns into a five. So your answers are actually on your multiplication table as well. Set timer for one minute. So we're writing this down, multiplying mixed numbers. So uh, you guys are totally ready for this. Uh, no. All right, Dylan, so let's focus on this, not on him. So if we have two and one four times, let's say uh, three, and two fifths, okay? So these are called mixed numbers because you have a whole number and a fraction, right? So they're mixed numbers. Does anybody know what do I have to do before I start multiplying? Oh, don't you have to change the mixed number into a fraction? Yes, so you cannot just multiply two times three. Can't do that, okay? That'd be too easy. We can't do that. So let me make the mistake. I'm going to make a mistake. If I just go two times three is six, one times two is two, four times five is 20, which is equal to six and one tenth, right? This is wrong. I'm gonna show you how you're not gonna get this answer. So we can't just go two times three is six and then multiply the fractions like we just did five minutes ago, right? Uh, does everybody see how I got six and two, ten two twentieths? Yeah. Right? Okay, but it's wrong. What we need to do um, is we need to turn this into improper, which is what we practiced last week. So we multiply and add and we get... Oh yeah. Oh, uh, nine. Nine, 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 nine over four. And we get... Then we multiply this. Ugh. The denominator is 20. And then we turn it into a denominator. Yeah. 17 times 9. Um, 63. 9, 153. And then you change the mixed number. So how many 20s in 153? 11. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 7, right? 7 over... 7, that gives you 140. Over 13. So what's our answer? 7 and 13 twentieths. What did we say was wrong? 6 and 1 tenth, right? So this is wrong. We cannot just go 2 times 3. We have to turn it into impropers, which are my pink fractions, and then we multiply straight across, okay? Are we okay? All right. Isaac, let me see if I can show you a, a, tr a shortcut. Uh, 2 over 4 times. Oh, can't you simplify your Um, uh, before that, hold on. Stay with me. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason. <sighs> Aiden, stop. 1 and 2 fourths times 5 and 1 half. So everybody in the class should be able to turn that into an improper fraction before I do. So go ahead and turn it into an improper fraction. Okay, what's our first improper fraction? Uh, six, six over four, six four. times eleven over two. Okay, now you could get sixty-six over eight, right? Okay, but before we get sixty-six over eight, I'm going to show you a shortcut. Now, does this always work? No, but when it worked, whoo, so nice. Um, I could have shown you this shortcut back when we were doing this, um, this, which I might show my second and third period. Okay, what you do is before, 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 before we um, we multiply straight across, we like to what we refer to as check your corners. Okay, so what you do is you check your corners. Here are my two corners, 4 and 11. Is there anything I can simplify 4 and 11 by? Sort of, but we're simplifying. So 4 and 11, can we simplify 4 and 11? No. Do we circle anything? No. So it's not like the butterfly method. Check this corner, 6 and 2. Is there something I can divide 6 and 2 by? Yes. What? 2. So you do that. You simplify this by two and this by two. It makes your math easier, but you have to know your multiplication facts because if you check six and two and don't realize that you can divide by two, you are making your life more difficult, unfortunately. Six divided by two? Three, circle it. Two divided by two? One, circle it. So now we no longer are gonna multiply by six and 11. We are not gonna multiply 3 and 11. What's 3 times 11? 33. 33. What's 4 times 1? 4. 4. So I end up with smaller numbers to simplify by. How many times does 4 go into 33? Uh, eight. 8. 8 gives you 32. Eight. Remainder? One over, 1 over 4. Totally. How many times does 8 go into 66? 8. Oh, wait. 8. 64. Oh, I thought this was... 8. Dude, it would be the same answer. 8. 8. But you would get two 8s and then simplify two 8s. Why don't you divide the 4 and make by 2 and it'll be 2 and take it on the Divide this four? Yeah, and the two and the other two don't divide. Because of the 11. Because of the 11. They, you have to simplify the corners, not the bottoms or the tops. It's by corners. What happens if you... You'll get the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's weird how it only works for the corners, but not the bottoms or the tops. I know. I really don't know why. All right. Let's do six... And two 
thirds times um, that could be 18. Let's do 3 over 5. So maybe like the second number is not a mixed number. That's cool. Do I still got to change the first one into an improper? Yeah. Yes. Your first one still has to change into an improper. So what's 6 and 2 thirds? Uh, 20 over 3. 20 over 3 times? 3 now this one, if you don't want to do my shortcut, you're going to end up with such a hard problem. This is like the perfect example of how my shortcut is going to make your life so much easier. Oh, can you do both? Twelve over three. So, check your corners. Let's check these two corners. Twenty and five. Is there anything I can divide twenty and five by? Four. By five. Five. This is why showing your work is important. You might think it's four, you might think it's two, but when you write it down, you're gonna be like, wait, I can't do five divided by four. So I know you wanna try to do this in your head and you wanna, sh you know, more of a shortcut, but the, if you write it down, your brain will catch your mistake, I hope. So 20 divided by five is four, circle it. Five divided by five is one, circle it. Now, we look at your other corner. 3 and 3. What can I divide 3 and 3 by? 1. No, 3. That gives you 1. Circle it. 1. Circle it. Now let's multiply everything we circled. If you didn't simplify, you would get... 60 over 15. And then simplify that. No. It's four. You just, you get really big numbers and a lot of you are going to make mistakes. So it might seem like a lot more work, but you're, you're actually simplifying your answer, making it easier. You're making an easier problem by doing this. Got it? Four and one six times, let's see, no wait. So? I like to be extra. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, come on. Most of you should be able to do this before I do. Okay, so what's my new improper fraction? 25 over 6 times 6 over 25. Now, do I really want to multiply 25 times 6? No, not really. What can I, so you check your corners. So what's our final answer? I can divide this by 25, this by 25, I get 1, and I get 1. And then these two, I can also divide by 6, divide by 6, and I get 1, and 1, and 1 over 1 is 1. Now, again, you realize, I'm trying to make the, your uh, math easier, right? It seems like a lot more work, but it's probably only like 60 seconds of your life, and you end up with an easier answer, instead of dealing with bigger numbers. You might mess up 6 times 25, you know, unfortunately. All right, let's see. All right, let's do that one.
I was gonna do this tomorrow with you on a video, but I'm kind of glad we're doing it together. So we're not doing anything tomorrow. You're, you might, I might not have a video for you. It might just be straight into the worksheet. Like this, you're probably gonna practice this on a worksheet. No. No, Giselle, I did not. Okay, what's seven times six? 42 plus two? 44 out of six. 44 out of six. And then one times six? Six plus four? 10. Should I be concerned about the kids who are literally copying this? Yes. Yeah, you should. All right. Now, do I really want to go 44 times 10 and 6 times 6? No. Not really. Could you? Yes. No. Check your corners. Yeah. Even if you simplify one of the corners, you're going to make your math easier. Even if you just do one corner. So, let's do 6 and 10. What can I divide 6 and 10 by? 2. two. Most of the time... A lot of the times you can divide by two. Always check the two. Usually two works, if not another number. Two, three, and five. Those are the popular ones. Okay, 10 divided by two? Five, circle it. Six divided by two? Three, circle it. The reason we circle it is so you realize like, okay, that's my new number. Now, if you wanna leave it like this, hey, it's better than the other numbers. But if you want to check your other corners, you can also simplify your other corners. What can I divide 44 and 6 by? 6. Okay, what's 44 divided by 6? Can we divide 44 divided by 6? No. This is why you have to show your work. Because if you did that, you know, if you wrote it down, hopefully your brain goes like, wait, I can't do 44 divided by 6. You first said it and you believed it. You're like, yes, it's six. But I hope that when you write it down, you realize like, oh yeah, that didn't work. So it's fine. Cross it out and you realize it's just two. So what's 44 divided by two? 22. 22. And then six divided by two? Three. Three. Now remember, if we're going too fast, you can slow it down. You can use your multiplication table. What's three times three? Nine. 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 And 22 times five. Ten carry the one. Oh, it's hundred and ten. Divided by nine. Ten gives you ninety. Eleven is ninety nine. What's twelve times nine? One oh eight. Oh. Twelve. Remainder two over. In seventh grade, we want this answer, 12 and 2 ninths. After seventh grade, your math teachers want you to keep it as improper. This is the last year you'll do mixed numbers. They, uh, your algebra teachers want improper. Why? It's just easier to continue doing math with impropers. I mean, yeah, some teachers will want mixed numbers, but for the most part, mixed numbers are so seventh grade. Because we're seventh graders. No, you need that skill. You, um, for the most part, you'll leave it as improper a win. But then there's some teachers that are, why are we packing up? We still got four minutes. All right, Juan, I'll wait for you to write this down. I feel like we should have a notebook check soon. I'll make this one easier. I was trying to think of a number that may work. All right, come on, we have two minutes to do this problem. How far can you get without me? Or your lead broke. Not mental math, kids. Not mental math.
Don't look up here until you're don't look up here until you're stuck or you have an answer. Okay? Don't look up here until you're done or you get stuck.